Hi everyone, welcome to another Kubernetes tutorial that's going to be very hands-on. It's going to be a screen share, lots of terminals, lots of fun. Uh, stay tuned for, for more. This this video will be focused on preventing privileged pods using pod security admission and standards. And funny enough, when you, when you search for this in Google, preventing privileged pods Kubernetes, and the first result you get is PSP. But that actually has been deprecated since 1.23 and has been removed in Kubernetes 1.25. Look at another, another result in Google. You'll see it, it also talks about preventing previous containers in Kubernetes with pod security policy. Um, you should no longer follow these guides. Um, as of 1.23, when it has been deprecated, you should be looking at uh, pod security admission or possibly other methods. But today's video is only focused on doing this with pod security standards and pod security admission. So let's get started. Um, actually, one more thing, why is it important? Well, if you, if someone is able to take over a pod that has previous permissions, they can basically take over that whole uh, Kubernetes node. So um, it's something that you generally don't want to do unless you really need to. So it's a good, it's, a, it's you should, prevent previous pods from running in your Kubernetes cluster only as you have a reason to run them. Um, and then you should move them to a specific namespace, more on that later. So um, I talked about this for a little bit, pod security standards and pod security admission controller. How do these work together? Kubernetes comes with uh, three predefined pod security standards. Privilege, which really means there's no restrictions at all. It's the same as having no pod security standard apply. It's, it's the same as, there's just nothing is being restricted. Uh, the second profile is baseline, which is minimally restrictive and prevents high security risk configurations. Question, <laughs> which of these profiles should be, could you use to prevent previous parts? Um, as you can see, baseline and restricted, uh, they would both uh, satisfy our requirements of preventing previous parts. Kubernetes by default offers a built-in pod security admission controller since version 1.23, and that allows you to enforce these pod security standards across a Kubernetes namespace. Let's try to see this uh, in action by preventing privileged pods with the baseline pod security standard. So, um, what you will do is you we, we're gonna do a label um, on a namespace and then we're gonna try creating a, a previous pod and make sure that that doesn't work anymore. So first, what you should generally do is you should do a you should do the label, but you do it in a dry run mode. And why you should do that is because when you do that, it won't actually apply the label, but it allows you to see if any of the running pods could have been admitted if the baseline pod security standard was enforced. So, um, and why is that important? Because if you if some of the running pods would not have been able to admit it, and then if you might redeploy this application, the application might not come up again. So that's why it's important you first is in dry run mode and that there's no warnings thrown. In my case, this nase is actually empty, so no warnings are thrown. But in your case, you might see a warning here, and then you should double check that, that you're okay with the warning, or you should fix your currently running pods. Uh, so assuming you had no warnings, let's try to apply the um, label directly, and that should now, and that's all we need to do. I, I don't know if you're familiar, if you have used PSP in the past, but this is much easier. All we need to do is, uh, and, add a label to namespace and that allows us to enforce a pod security standard. Um, and this time we remove dry run server. Uh, let's let's try creating a previous pod and see if it's still, uh, and see if it denies creating this pod. So let's give that a try. Nginx previous YAML. I'm just gonna copy paste this since this is and this is the blog. I, I have it linked in the YouTube description as well. So you can easily um, follow along with the video if you wanted to. Let's try to 
create this pod and I hope that this will throw a warning. And luckily it did throw a warning. It shows error when creating Nginx priv YAML pod Nginx pro is, is forbidden. It violates our baseline pod security standard because we have privilege in the container Nginx priv must not set security context privilege is true. And you did see we have it true. Uh, we should be able to remove that and that should that should allow us to deploy this container Yeah, there you go. So we confirm that we can still create Pods that are not previous but pods that are have previous set to true um, Can no longer be created Cool. All right, that's it. I hope you like this video leave a comment um, If you liked it if you have any other suggestions for other topics you would like me to cover um, and don't forget to subscribe. It shows me that you enjoy this video.